the Libertarian Party of California hosted a convention this past weekend in Culver City to gain a clearer view of who the party wanted for their presidential nominee in 2020. Libertarianism is a political philosophy that stresses, among other things, individual rights, free markets, and limiting government power. Look, I mean, libertarianism is a radical philosophy, and it's a growing movement, but we're not there yet with a critical mass of people that can bring this shift to a free society that we're fighting for. But that's what we're aiming for, and, and that's just really up to Californians and to the American people. Some prominent libertarian politicians would include former U.S. Representative Ron Paul, who last ran for president in 2012 as a Republican, and his son, Senator Rand Paul, who ran as a president as a Republican in 2016. On the flip side, Lincoln Chafee is a former governor and U.S. Senator from Rhode Island, who previously ran as a Democrat in the 2016 presidential election. Now he's running as a libertarian. I found the democratic process of ran for president uh, in the 16th cycle when Hillary Clinton was the uh, nominee and I found the process uh, almost corrupt. Uh, the DNC and the Clinton campaign were one and the same. Uh, it really soured me on the Democratic Party and the whole process. So I looked at other parties and uh, saw anti-war, saw anti-deficit, saw anti-capital punishment, saw pro-gay rights, and uh, so many other things. The Libertarian Party is the third biggest party in the United States, and it aims to focus the political philosophy of libertarianism into its own party, which may or may not show success in 2020. It's an absolute legitimate movement. It is the only solution to the crises and chaos that Democrats and Republicans have forced it upon our land. You take any area where there's a crisis, immigration, health care, foreign policy, drug war, uh, anything, social security, out of control spending and debt, They're the only solution to this chaos and crisis is libertarianism. How much more serious can you be than that? On one hand, the Libertarian Party had the highest number of presidential votes in its history during the last general election at around 4.5 million votes. In 2016, the party nominated former Governor Gary Johnson and former Governor, now Republican presidential hopeful Bill Weld, to be their team ticket. And give yourselves credit, uh, Gary, uh, and, and I know how much we we're mad at Bill, uh, but they, they got the party as really the third party in this country. And now as we see what's happening in 2020, as I've said, uh, the opportunity is there more than ever, uh, I believe, a fractured, uh, dysfunctional Democratic Party, Trump being Trump, chaos every day, you never know what's going to happen next. Uh, the 2020s are year. On the other hand, it doesn't seem like the appetite for a new party is there with voters. An October 2019 Gallup poll found that 75% of Democrats are satisfied with the current lineup of candidates compared to less than 60% in 2016. And a Hill Harris X poll in January found a 90% approval rating for President Trump among Republicans. Still, the Libertarian Party is looking at new candidates to see who will be their presidential hopeful in 2020. Following the debate, the state delegates chose Jacob Hornberger as the winner of the presidential debate in a straw poll vote. Crystal Spielman with Election 2020, reporting from Culver City, California.